everyone, it's me Joyce. I just wanted to introduce you guys to something new that I'm doing on my channel. There are a lot of great YouTubers out there who play awesome games, who have great commentary to go along with their games, and you know, if we watch them every day, we know all about their gaming personality. But what about getting to know them on a more personal level? Which is exactly what I want to accomplish by conducting essentially in-game interviews. Now I've got my first one down, playing Minecraft with In the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Let me just say I've been playing Minecraft for a little bit of time, so I'm a bit of a noob, as Martin likes to point out in the beginning of this interview. So without further ado, I present to you my very first talking game. You're as cold as ice, when when it's it's sacrifice my love. love. Ready to be interviewed. I'm ready to interview you. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, my name is Joyce from Joyce IRL, and I'm here with Martin, or in the Little Wood, aka. Hello there. Martin. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. You're right. Yeah, I'm doing very well. I'm ready to play some Minecraft. Booyah. You're a bit of a noob. I am. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell everyone. <laughs> right, I'm going to make some stone gear. Okay, good. I was going to do that as well. I'll just follow suit. I got a copycat. <laughs> get get your own get your own world. No, you know. I need to follow you. You're my protection. <laughs> I will be your guide. <laughs> well, how, when did you start getting into Minecraft, Martin? Oh, god. It was just over a year ago now, I think. Um, I because I joined just before the Halloween update, uh -huh. so it must have been in sort of maybe early October time last year. And then from there, you started your channel. What made you want to start your channel? Uh, I think it's just because I was playing a lot of Minecraft, but just sort of sat there silently by myself because I wasn't really into multiplayer all that much. Yeah. Uh, and I was just sat there, just like silently playing to myself. And then when I saw the Yogg's cast doing the Shadow of Israfel. Uh, and kind of the whole world of commentaries then became, you know, apparent to me. But the, yeah, so I saw that, and then and then sort of it took me still a few months. I I kind of found the old cast in December, and it still took me right the way through until about March time for me to, to decide to give it a go for myself. Speaking of Yogg's cast, you just met them recently at Minecon, correct? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. How was that? Tell me about Minecon. <laughs> Minecon was literally just the two most ridiculous days of my entire life. Uh, ridiculous in a really good way, though. Right. Because it, it was so awesome just to kind of meet people that watch your videos and, you know, meeting other commentators that you watch all the time. And then obviously meeting Simon and Lewis was, was really cool as well because I think a lot of people would have, you know, um, given an arm and a leg to have the privileges that I had because obviously I hung out with all the TGS guys yeah uh, which included the Yogg's cast and obviously all the guys that work at TGS so um, Yay, TGS. I, I was able to sit in the Yogg cave for um for, for most of mine con like whenever I needed to escape the madness for a while oh that's awesome was this the first time in the US for you too yeah and yeah like the first place I would go to in the US would be Vegas so I've probably not got the best idea of what America's <laughs> like but well, you definitely uh, have you definitely have the party side of America down. Yeah, yeah, I could say. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> so. Yeah, I went to the Dead Mouse gig, which was pretty cool. And then on the way back, I stayed awake the whole way, um, and I fell asleep in my chair in my bedroom oh, at about <laughs> eight o'clock. Because I got back about four, and I thought, you know what, I'll stay up for a couple of hours. And I think I must have dropped off at about five p.m. Just like sat there, with, like hand hand on the mouse and hand on the keyboard. I must have looked adorable. Were you drooling? Have... Were you drooling as well? <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> drool, I, but I do snore like a beast, sort of like a wild boar, as most people have described it as sounding like. When you started your channel, Martin, what did you expect to get out of it? Did you expect this much success? No, not no, not by any means. Not at all. Not at all. No, I. I kind of expected to be, uh, my, my goal was to be maybe as big as uh, Wolf21 who I mentioned earlier because, mm -hmm. you know, he's got, I think he's got something like 10,000 subscribers and I think that's a lot of people. I never kind of anticipated how, you know, how my channel would grow the way it has. Um, yeah, it's, it's all just very weird, like, it, a lot of this is just literally just off one song mm -hmm. and it's all sort of like, you know, things branching off because of that. Form This so, Way, correct? Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, yeah, that song, yeah. I wrote that and then it sort of just like led to people discovering about me. The Yogg's cast, the, the most like subscribed people in the UK nearly, so it's just like, 
it's just a ton of people who are now made aware of me. I'm glad they were they were able to help you out, and they're gracious enough. They're very nice guys, so I'm sure yeah. you, you uh, realize that when you met them. <laughs> yeah, that's why when all that stuff kicked off about you know Notch versus Yogscast and stuff, I I knew none of the stuff that he was saying on Twitter was true. Yeah. Just, just because I was actually there and I was hanging out with them for a good majority of it, so I know what did and didn't happen. But just in general, like. That's why a lot of the people got very defensive that know them but weren't at the event because they know it's just not in their it's just not in their style or character or anything. I was wondering what Notch was trying to accomplish by by doing stuff like that. Yeah, you know? it was a bit weird that he took it very public. Yeah, they did. Uh, so it was very strange. Like he could have literally just done the first tweet that he did saying, you know, we won't be working with them anymore and then he could have left it there, but exactly. for some reason he decided to try and turn everybody against them in the process as well. So has reading all the stuff that Notch and Mojang said about um, Yogscast changed your opinion on them or on the game at all? Or um, Not really, no. I mean, I think Notch was very tired and, you know, that's partly down to it. But um, I don't know. I think, I think when it gets up to, you know, the more popular end of people, things can get blown out of proportion a little bit. So Yeah. I know you attended the Student Radio Awards show. Um, recently. Yes. Tell me about that. How was it? It's a mixed thing because it's really exciting because you get to see friends from other universities and you get to meet a couple of like you know celebrity radio presenters. But at the same time, it's also really nerve wracking if you're up for an award like I was. That's awesome it's, though. Which award were you nominated for? Uh, I was up for best male presenter. Um, it was actually my second year in a row as well being up for that. I was up for it last year, uh, and then I was up for it again this year. And then in my first year. You can only go for best newcomer, and I actually won that. I got the gold award uh, oh, a couple nice. of years back. That's exciting. So, so yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. It's cool. So, what else besides Minecraft and Skyrim and Skyward Sword uh, have you been playing? What other games do you play besides those? Oh, I've got Bastion. I've actually got Bastion on the Xbox and the uh, the PC. Cause somebody bought it for me on the PC, which is nice of them. Oh, cool. Uh, I know that's up for Game of the Year in some places, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, and its soundtrack is nominated for that category also. Yeah, uh, Portal 2, I, I played that. Okay, good. I, I love Portal 2. That's one of my favorite games. Oh, Sonic Generations. That's one that not many people have tried out. I played Limbo as well. I did a Let's Play series on that, and that was very good. Limbo is awesome. Nice little indie title. It's very creepy. You've fallen down that hole. You have. I did, and, and I'm fighting a skeleton. Damn it. Okay. So you just yep. graduated recently, correct? Yeah, yeah, graduated in uh, July, so it's about four months ago now, maybe five. What was that like? Very, very, very scary, because I was originally going to be going over to Australia to live there. Oh, wow. Uh, in September, because I've got family who live there, and they've always offered me to go out there. Uh -huh. um, so I was actually going to go in September if nothing was happening for me here, because I can take my YouTube stuff wherever I go. Right. Uh, but then obviously this radio job came up in sort of August time, which actually kept me here. So I'm so fortunate to be doing two things that I love, you know, for a living. So what was your first uh, job interview after graduating? Oh, God, I hated it so much. Um, <laughs> it was for a web design company. I, basically I went in and it was just the dullest environment I've ever been in. I, uh, it was horrible. And like, as soon as the guy came in and sort of welcomed me, and the second I shook his hand and like sat down there for the interview... My, my whole stomach just turned upside down. And when he said, you know, oh, okay, so if we, we're going to put you through to the second round of the interview. So I'd like you to go home and make a website to this specification. And I just, I just didn't do the website. I just never contacted them again. When you're not playing video games or making videos, uh, what is it that you do? Like, what are your other hobbies? Anything? Um, it's not really a lot, to be honest. I mean, I love going to the cinema. I've mm -hmm. got, like, a... Um, I have like a cinema pass, so for like really cheap amount of money, uh, I can see as many films as I want, as many times as I want every uh -huh. month. Um, so I think that once you've seen like three movies, you've saved money that month. Oh, that's awesome. So I see like everything that comes out, which is awesome. Are you hungry by any chance? I, oh, you know what? I am. What the heck? There we go. Oh, thank you. I'm still being strict on you. You're on a diet of dry <laughs> You're on, you're on a prisoner's diet, dry <laughs> bread and water. You're so sweet. Thank you. What are your plans for radio in the future? Um, you know what? I really don't know at the minute. Like, Because mm -hmm. kind of YouTube for me is kind of the middle ground. It's my love between gaming and my love for radio. It's like a perfect in-between, mm -hmm. which I suppose is why I got started in it. So I think with the radio stuff, I'm going to be doing this gig that I'm doing at the minute up until a certain point, and I've just found a yellow sheep. Um <laughs> 
and then and then yeah i don't really know what's going to happen after that but i do kind of aspire to be on one of the um on one of the bigger networks in the uk or even go to australia because i love australian radio if right Doing radio or making these videos wasn't an option. What what would you choose? If if I if I couldn't do that, I'd probably do web design because I, I like to do something that has an end product rather than just like you do one thing and then it's like oh okay just move straight on to the next one. Right. I like to do something where I can sit down for a minute, you know, admire what I've made and then move on to the next thing. Has this game <laughs> taught you anything that you can transfer into the real world? Uh oh god, let me think. Um. Oh, it has actually, um, and it's kind of annoying because I could have known it before I started playing Minecraft, and I would have been amazing at it because in school I wanted to do graphic design as a as a class. This was when I was in high school, so if I'd attended those classes, I I would know redstone circuitry inside out. Whereas uh-huh. I'm now learning it, you know, all these years later. So <laughs> that that is one thing that I've I've taken away from Minecraft without a doubt. Oh wow! In we go. We're going to the Never. Mm-hmm. Very, very cool. Is this your first time in the Never? It is my first time. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. Holy, look at those glow rock stone things. <laughs> you are Oh, there just... you are. Hello there. Where are you? I can't see you. Uh, turn around. Hi. Oh, that's not you. <laughs> no, where are you? That's funny because he turned around right when I told you to turn around. <laughs> I don't Have you know. forgot what I look like already? <laughs> well, he's all—he's green, so I figured. Oh, I see you. <laughs> I say we should end the show by, by uh, ter- making the all the nether turn against us. Done. Let's do it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You've actually taken a few of them out. Oh, you're so dead. Oh god! It's... <laughs> oh no! Oh, there we go. Oh, that, oh god! There goes the diamonds. Did you? Sp- oh, you spawned right on me. There wow, I, I looked right through you, quite literally. Ugh. All right. You're getting inside my mind. <laughs> Inception. Bang. I had so much fun doing this with you. This was probably the best Minecraft experience I've had. <laughs> so far. Hey. Yay. Yay. Oh, my, my pants are gone. But still jumping for joy. Thank you so much for your time, Martin. This no was problem. a lot of fun. We should do your signature signature sign off together. Oh yes, we should. Should we do it on free? Yes. One, One two, two, three. three. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>